Hi, my name is Willix, and this is episode two of RL Craft. And today we're going to do another tips video, but deliberately for a dungeon. I'm even going to go down into a dungeon and try to kill some stuff as lame as I am at combat. Well, we'll see. I'm going to try to be smart about how I do it. I'm just not very fast at uh, reacting to things. All right, so off uh, camera, I raided the town for a bunch of stuff. Got a bunch of food and things. I even got some lapis, which caught me by surprise. And uh, something went by that gave me an effect where I could see all the mobs outside. They were all covered in a sort of a glowy uh, outline. And it glowed there, and it glowed there. And I know what they are. If we break this, that's chainmail down there. And we can put that back. And uh, so now we've got a set of chainmail. But we need level four defense to be able to use it. Over here, we've got full set of uh, iron armor. And we need level eight to use that. So, notice I've got eight levels. Uh, I knocked down some coal, killed a few sheep that were en route as I was running around the uh, town. And I got a little bit of experience. So let's use some of that. You can press uh, Y and get there like that. Or you can press uh, inventory and press this. So if we want to use that armor, we're going to need a defense of four. So we come here and it says it's going to use three levels. Now if you notice, I'm at eight and a little less than a half. Press this and it only used like one level in a bit. But what, why that is, is it used up the amount of experience you would need for level three. And the you know level four takes more experience than level three. Level five takes a little bit more again, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So now, um, if we do that again, because we're only at three, we need to be at four. It's going to take four levels this time. And so it only took three something off the top. It would have been four from the bottom. So this thing is well behaved the way it does it, is what I'm saying. And so I can't do any more in defense that now. All right. So we can now take off our leather armor and put on that. Plus one armor toughness, nothing special there. Plus one armor toughness, plus one armor. So all good things, that's pretty damn good armor. See down here? No negative effects, because it's random what shows up. That's a nice set of armor. I like that. Uh, let's put it in here, so when I have to recover my stuff, I can do that. Put that stuff in there. Okay. Um, is that... Yes. That's it for now. Let's get started. Backpack. A lot of you are going to try to tell me to get a backpack. I really don't like this particular mod when it comes to backpacks. It's called uh, Wearable Backpacks Mod. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Make that. And then the way you're supposed to use it, you put it on the ground. Take your chest armor off. Uh, we can put something in there like that. And then we shift break it and it puts it on now you cannot right click on it you can't pull it out uh, to open it what you have to do if you want to open it while it's on you you've got to go into wearable backpacks config and change enable self interaction to true then you can use the hot key for it it's normally the B key but since it was in it conflicting with um, Bobbles. I changed it to the R key for, uh, I forget. Oh, R key? No, P key for pack. That was it. So now I can open it up and pull stuff in and out while I'm wearing it. 
Now, I'm not overly impressed with this, actually. Oh, and the way you uh, get rid of it is you right-click it down on the ground like that. And... Oh, what bothers me is if I wanted to use it just for storage, and I put, let's say, something in here, and then I picked it up, See, the cobble came out. There's nothing in it. So it's... Something blew up. Yeah, something blew up over there. Don't know what. Can't see from here. All right. So I'd rather wear this. Much better armor class. It's a little bit... This is a little bit less than leather. So only in emergencies uh, might I wear that if I've just finished off a dungeon and just want to get it done and not have to empty out right away. Maybe I'll put it on. Um, that's going to go up there. Now, potion ring of haste. Now to make this, I had to, I found lapis in my town. That's not a common drop. Mind you, some buildings will be stuffed with lapis blocks in towns, but that's not a very common one. Or maybe it's the special structures come with like lots of lapis blocks. Um, but I did get some lapis out of, out of my town. And that makes the basic ring. Then I traded a villager for some um, paper for some emeralds. And I can make myself a potion ring of haste so it's like the lowest level potion of haste and it's a permanent effect and um, so that's about 10% uh, bonus in attack speed and mining and stuff now it also comes up with a random thing on it rash plus 4% attack speed cool I like that let's see if we can get lucky on this one this is a ring of resistance. When I think you can may wear more than one of the haste and have them uh, stack, by the way. Ring of resistance, that's 10% resistance to magic, I think, is how it works. And harden, plus one armor. Goal! So we've got extra armor. Uh, and that's when we're wearing it. So notice my armor here is six. And it gave us an extra one. Now we've got resistance and haste as well. Um, I didn't have enough lapis to make a third one to find out whether you can, it'll go into any of the other bobble slots or not. Uh, haven't tried yet. Don't know. All right, next up, experience logbook. Um, I got one of the ender pearls from breaking one of those uh, tumbleweeds that rolls around once in a while, a little brown thing that just blows in the wind. Lots of different mobs drop ender pearls in this pack. Uh, I haven't killed any endermen at all, and I had five of these things. So what do we do with this? Well, notice I've got four levels of experience on me right now, and I'm saving them up to get to eight defense because I don't want to jump all the way to... See, there's tumbleweeds out there. See those things bouncing around out there? So if we shift, right-click, it puts all our experience in the book. So if we die, we don't lose our experience, so long as we can recover the book. All right, next up. I decided I'm going to start using a shield. I don't like shields. I never seem to use them right. So... I find them a pain. But in this pack, we've got skeletons that can one-shot in the head. So if you've got the shield up, the arrows bounce off of it. Uh, I want the advantage that if I'm having to deal with a skeleton, I can, uh, I can have it up and do it that way. So to make this wooden one, it's just wood and a stick, and then stone one, so that's easy. Put it in the shield slot. 
when you right click you're blocking right click block now if we put that on our left one notice up in my the left hand corner top left I've got uh, mining fatigue 4 that's not good that's because I'm using a two-handed weapon so I'm gonna switch to a one-handed weapon see mining fatigue 4 that would mean 40 percent slower so I'm I'm thinking the spear somebody deliberately asked me about the stone saber and what I thought of it because plus one percent damage when a foe has no chest armor now a lot of the zombies even the skeletons that I've seen have had uh, chest armor in my test world only a few of them didn't but I'm more worried about the um, the other the tougher mobs now they're not wearing physical armor but do they have the equivalent of armor in their toughness uh, because that if they do uh, there's no way I'd use a saber otherwise it might be a consideration because it does five attack damage and it's 1.6 speed I think I'm gonna go with the stone spear because it's got the one reach the the longer distance on it and go that way so notice I set up to make five of them why well when we make one this one has no tags no tags plus 10 percent dig speed T plus 10 percent attack speed plus 15 percent attack damage plus 5.5 reach worthwhile legendary these are just normal Got two more tries let's see what we get garbage you can be trashed and nothing so this one was equally as bad as uh, this one was good cool whenever it's possible to repair these things let me know in the comments if there's a way to repair these I get maybe an anvil and something stone or something well, by the time it wears out, I'll probably be ready for iron anyways. All right, next up, a white sleeping bag. A sleeping bag, basically. Three wool. You can be different colors. From there, when you're out in the wild and you don't want to reset your spawn, but you want to get rid of the night, this is what you use. I am not going to be uh, going out. I'm only going a few feet into the wild to get to the dungeon, so I don't need that. Iron saw. What's that used for? Well, we're going to grab some wood here. We'll put our wood there, that there. Notice we're getting four planks. If we put, it, if we used an axe on top, we'd only get two planks. Or I can put it over here, and we get eight sticks. And if you do use it on a uh, planks, you get two sticks. So it works out properly unlit torch notice regular torch recipe and we're getting unlit torches all these torches here were from in the town they're regular minecraft torches now to uh, light these you've either got to use a matchbox like place them and use a matchbox or a um, flint and steel or you can use the matchbox in a different way and i made two of them so i got one for later and we can put the match you can't do this with the flint and steel put the matchbox like that and we make them all lit torches right away now if i place them and break them they become unlit again and eventually they burn out so they don't last forever i also wanted myself oh we wanted to put the torches there i also wanted a distance weapon so i decided i was going to use a uh, stone boomerang because I can't use uh, what do you call it? a bow yet I need agility four for that and this thing comes back to you and it does five damage so that's pretty good we'll try it out I don't we'll see if I like it or not and I guess that's it for what we want to do uh, have I got everything I wanted on me yeah I think so oh it's night let's not deal with that Any 
bad guys out there that I can see? No. Door is closed. Yep. Saw oh, something flying around right there. I saw something bouncing around right there. Oh no, that's just a flower. There's one of those. Got a saddle. Okay, I actually lit this up on camera last episode, but I didn't actually do anything here. I just lit it up and hummed and hawed a lot and was gonna waste your time. So that's why I had the jump cut on last episode. Um, I didn't really get anything done and just didn't want to waste your time. Okay. Wraithmon minion? Something down here. Okay, so we need to press F9 and let's get rid of this. I think we'll go down this one. Okay, so. No, actually, I don't want to go down that one yet. Hold on a sec. Oh, I know what. I forgot something. Damn it. Yeah, I think I'm going to go down this one. Okay, let's protect ourselves a little bit here. stuff down here so let's hit that up a little bit okay let's see how far we get down here before this I can see a mob spawner down there zombies more than one so just one I would have just stood there and deal, deal with it. Deal with this before. Got a diamond. Cool. All right. More lapis. That's useful too. Don't need the wooden sword. Don't need the apple. Oh, there was. I didn't know he's here. And there's a door. Let's see. Oh, these things. 
things. Oh, and we didn't do this well enough. There we go. Okay, those things are handy. Do you have anything in them? Because I can use. I didn't want to waste iron on uh, hoppers yet, but I could use something like this to do potions. So I think we're going to take all this stuff with us. Do we need all the chests? No. I'm not going to bother with chests on this run. I am going to... Where did that go? There we got them both. Yeah, I'm just going to take the hoppers, I think. Because we're going to have too much stuff. I don't think we can do out oh, there. We're almost full here. Yeah, we can't break that. Ooh, I forgot to uh, cover that spot there. I am going to go back empty out before I try any more of these. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep recording but I'll cut away if uh, till I get back here if nothing happens to me. All right I'm back and nothing eventful happened on uh, route. I see myself a zombie there. I'm not sure if that's what's spawning down there or not. I'll have to find out. Can I reach you from here? Guess not. Those are skeletons. That's a skeleton spawner. I'm not waiting around to find out what happens there. Um, no, thank you. One one skeleton I can deal with. A whole uh, bunch of them spawning at once. I can't use a shield that well. I'm really not that good. dungeon for now. That's not more dungeon, is it? No, it doesn't look like it. Because can he fit through a one square space? He doesn't look like it. Oh, I need food. Alright, let's uh, try this guy. Now there's fire burning underneath. I don't want any of what he drops to burn up, so... Let's put the stairs back under there. Hope he can't fit through this hole. Doesn't look like he can. I've got a bunch of experience here. Let's deal with that, actually. What, uh, why? Defense. I got rid of most of it. down. Well, 
can I kill him from here? Not with that I can't. Okay. the Gru all right in the uh, other um, in my test world they just wasted me get your back to a wall to kill one I guess because they teleport behind you I guess he couldn't teleport behind me and that's why I survived I figured if I met up with a Gru, I was going to be dead meat. Going to bother with the other ones? Yeah. Bandages aren't that expensive. How much have we got in here? Eleven. Is that enough for... Okay. What's off my bar now? Oh, these are off my bar. That wasn't so good. I do die. Now let's see if I can recover my stuff. And I was so proud of myself for the Gru, and then I died doing that. Where? Oh, actually, do I didn't hit eight yet, did I? No. It's not dark yet. by just one thing. I was hit by a bunch of them. It was there. Okay. And I got an editor pearl out of that.
There's any really more in here. Where's all my stuff? Oh, so that's bother. I'm hearing a noise scaring the hell out of me. I had on the end there. Bad. Or actually, is that enough to? Eight. That should be enough to make. There, we did it. We can now wear iron armor. Okay, that last battle took it out of me. I think I'm going to, well, we'll get out first. And then we will end the episode. As long as I can figure out which way's out. All right, this was the stairs. even down it. Oh goody, it's night time. The boat's over there. Run for it. We're safely in our abode. I think that's enough for me today. On a personal note, I want to cover something off. If you were wondering why there was a huge gap the last pack I was playing and now, I discovered I had two clots, one on either lung. I was actually in hospital for a little while. I'm recovering now. I'm on blood thinners and it's not a problem. Um, I'm under no immediate threat or anything like that. But it did put me out of commission for a while. I wasn't working for a while, etc. With that said, I am including my um, Patreon and my um, PayPal in the descriptions for my videos now. So if you have any extra money, I could really use some help right now because I went without for a while now and I do not have any cash at all. I'm in trouble. So if any of you have a little bit to spare, whether it be Patreon, whether it even just be a little bit you can send me, I could really use it right now. Even like an extra 20 bucks or something would be huge for me right now. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go out there and have some fun. Thanks.